Guys, Chrome 84 pulls the plug on TLS 1.0 and 101. It's interesting, following Firefox leads and pretty much every browser in existence. So let's discuss. So this is the error that you're gonna get, guys. Your connection is not fully secure and the error says, error SSL obsolete version. I already, while surfing normal web on some of the websites, I started getting that error. I was like, what? Then it's like, oh, I have 84. And uh, 84 has a lot of features, but the two features that I'm interested in and I am going to report on because security, right? And then, uh, yeah, TLS and this one. Chrome blocks downloads for files hosted on HTTP. It's pretty neat feature and very important. So guys, so TLS 1.0 and 1.1 have been old and archaic and they have a lot of support. They support Cypher suites that are extremely insecure. I'm going to give you an example. I'm going to disappear for a minute. Here are, this is from an SSL lab analyzing a website, just hide the website for security reasons. And uh, look at TLS 1.0 and look at the Cypher Suite. I'm gonna go through these in general. And a Cypher Suite, guys, if you don't know, it's a collection of ciphers that essentially complete the TLS handshake, right? So. Uh, it has certain parts. The first part is a TLS or SSL, which is most of the stuff we're using TLS. And the sec the second part, usually this is just the first part. This is this doesn't usually exist, but the first part is the key exchange algorithm. What kind of algorithm are you using to exchange the keys between you and and the server? And we talked about that in TLS. Uh, I have a playlist where I talk about TLS. Check out these videos here, right there. Uh, I'll make sure to link it this time. I know you guys, you you like you like, you you guys yelled at me at once because I don't I don't I forget to link these videos. But yeah, the first thing is the key exchange algorithm, and uh, the second part is usually the the symmetric key algorithm. And in this case, we're using uh, what we're using RC four, which is which is proven to be breakable right this is an, an uh, one of the al al encrypted algorithm that has been uh, it's a symmetric key algorithm right has been proven to be broken it's very easily broken right so uh, the, the uh, inter internet engineering task for remote command is like hey don't use this stuff at all right so ts 1.1 and 1.0 uses that so if your server uses that even if they don't then then uh, someone can carry a, T a TLS stripping attack against your downgrade attack to force you to use this insecure algorithm despite your server that shouldn't support. And here's the thing, look at this. This is a preferred server order. The server actually prefers the insecure algorithm, which is nuts. It's a, look at the bit length is 128 and it's so easily insecure. So. And we're gonna go through the rest of the stuff. So that, that that's just bad. If you use this, the, anyone with with decent amount of power, compute power, they can break RC four very easily. It has. A, go, I'll, I'll link up the Wikipedia actually. For, actually, let's go through Wikipedia. Wiki, RC four. I'm gonna show you how how bad this thing is. Stream Cyber it stands for, um, Arc four. Oh, didn't know how that's, this is how they pronounce it. So Ron Rivest, and uh, it's basically, that's it. It says like TLS recommends not to use it at all. So it says, okay, do not use this, prohibit using TLS, right? Look at the old kind of attacks against this RC4. So that's just one example where, where things, things get, go wrong with, the, with this algorithm. So let's go on. So another one is DHE. So this this one is uses the first part. By the way, the I forgot the last. But the last part is SHA. Uh, usually, the last part is for the digital signature algorithm used to sign the certificate itself. Right? It's not as bad, but it's still interesting. So this is another algorithm that is weak. It uses Diffie-Hellman, and uh, we talked about Diffie-Hellman, guys. Check out this video. Yeah, 
Development is, is very powerful concept, but alone it has been proven to be weak, right? And and uh, w yeah, it uses 2048 bit, which is the recommended, right? But still, that's not enough. You need at least 4,698, 96 to, to, for Diffie Hillman to be good. Obviously, that's a lot of bits and that's required a lot of compute power. So people invented uh, elliptic curve Diffie Hillman that require less number of bits, but it's it's actually more way more secure. So it stands for ECDH. That's that's another one, guys. Right. So so if you see if you see EC, that's actually good. DH, not so good. So it uses also RSA with EAS as the encryption, uh, the symmetric encryption, and this. Uh, sorry, it uses both DHs RSA. So both RSA and DHE. So not just uses RSA. We talked about that, right? It, it's not perfectly forward. So so if I recorded all your conversation and then you leak the private key, like uh, what happened with Heartbleed with OpenSSL, then I can decrypt all your uh, communication easily because it's not perfectly forward. Because what happened here is the client uh, encrypts the symmetric key or the pre-master key using the RSA key and then send it across the wire. So that... So that if someone looked at the encryption and, and decrypted the uh, the messages with a private key, they can actually look at that and find it, right? Even uh, TLS 1.2 sometimes uses RSA, which is, which is something you have to configure as a backend engineer to prevent using these weak algorithms or not perfectly forward. I talked about perfect forward secrecy, guys. Check out the video here. So, yeah. That's also weak. This is a pretty good algorithm, AAS-256, but the idea that we're using Diffie-Hillman, that's why it makes it weak. Same thing with RSA uh, as a key exchange algorithm. This is good, but not enough, right? 128, 128. I think 128 is, is good, but it's, it's not as strong as 256 as a, as a symmetric key algorithm, but Diffie-Hillman, Diffie-Hillman, RSA, Diffie-Hillman, RSA, look at that. So all of this stuff, guys, is it comes down to the key exchange algorithm mainly, and that's why TLS 1.2 now forces you to use that. No, that's that's not true. DS 1.3 forces you to use Diffie Hillman as there's a key exchange. You cannot use RSA at, at all, and either Diffie Hillman or elliptic, elliptic curve Diffie Hillman. Let's go to SSL, SSL Labs, and uh, how about we? test one of the servers i don't know nginx.org i don't know I, I keep testing just nginx it's very interesting let's take a look at uh some of the so, so it, it this is a pretty good site that tests basically all uh, tlss uh, and all that stuff and, and let's just wait for it to complete test all tls version certificate shows everything about your server so pretty good so this is done Nginx.org gets a B, uh, and that's because the server supports TLS 1.0 and 1.1.1. 1. 1. 1. Nah, not good. Because uh, why? Because I can, as a client, I can force you, or as the man in the middle, I can intercept a TLS hello and forces the client to change the TLS hello to say, hey, I don't support TLS 1.2. The minimum, maximum version I support is 1.1. Let's connect. <laughs> okay? That's why Chrome's stopping this thing, to avoid all this garbage. Right? This site works only with SNI support. So if you don't have SNI, you can't consume that stuff, obviously. Most clients have SNI now. And I talked about SNI, guys. Check out the video here. So, uh, look at this all beautiful stuff. This is still... Some of stuff are weak. Why? The moment we see weak, we look at the key exchange. Look at the key exchange. RSA, not perfectly forward. DHE, weak ass because it's not elliptic curve, right? 2048, someone actually try, uh, was able to break a Diffie Hellman 2048, even with the modular operator, right? So uh, they, they managed to break it in a few days, I think. So that's why it's not. It's not good, right? But if you think about it, at least it is it is ephemeral. If it's ephemeral, 
Yeah, you got only one session. Tough, tough luck. RSA with Camellia. I don't know what Camellia is. This is one symmetric uh, encryption, but I I bet it's weak because it's it's RSA as a key exchange, right? It's not perfectly forward. DHA and RSA, not perfectly forward. What? Look at this. So this is ECDH. So this is elliptic curve, Diffie-Hellman, but it uses RSA with AES, right? So why this is weak? I don't understand. Interesting. It's interesting. Is it because AES 128? Maybe. I, don't, I really doubt it, though. That's interesting. Yeah. I don't know why this is weak. It looks that strong to me. Unless they were using RSA with EAS. So anything that has to do with RSA is not perfectly forward, obviously. So we don't need to use it. I'm just interested. What, how do we use elliptic curve and RSA at the same time? Because key exchange. I mean, it's one or the other. Why do you use two? I'm, I'm researched on, I guess. So yeah, another RSA, DHE, not elliptic curve. Uh, look at this. This one is actually strong for some reason. I just don't understand. Is it because the GSM? This is this is also not perfectly forward yet. This was labeled as good. Maybe because the SHA, the signature algorithm. I know. Same thing, RSA, D, uh, not perfectly forward. DH, just the element, not elliptic curve. This one is elliptic curve, but we're still using RSA, right? This one is good. Beats me, man. I don't know what's the difference. Okay, so yeah. You can see some, some of them are weak. Some of them are strong. Looks like uh, we need to take a look at this, but this is the, this is the sad part. <laughs> Nginx doesn't support TS 1.3. It's been it's been it's been a year like that since I started dabbling with this. Every time I want to test, I go to nginx.com.org, and they still don't support that stuff. But yeah, guys, if you go to bad SSL now with Chrome 84, yeah. So now we're getting an error. Look at this. Your SSL obsolete version. If you want, you can continue if you want to. It's gonna give you an option to continue to the side that uses TLS 1.0, 1.1, and this will reestablish the handshake essentially and allow it. But unlike, unlike Firefox, this is a one-time thing for this website. So if I allow this, right, and I go back, obviously I, I, I am in, but if I click again, it doesn't ask me, right? So it's, it remembers that choice. In Firefox, I believe, let's go to Firefox. In Firefox, I get this. It says, hey, unsupported version. But if you enable this, this is a, 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 a global change, right? This is not per website, as far as I remember, when, when I last covered this last month. This is, the moment you enable this, any website that is running 1.0 and 1 will be accessible by you. So you might want to think about enabling that. Uh, any, uh, thinking twice before you actually enable that stuff. All right, guys. So that's, that's basically it. Uh, TLS 1.1 and 1.0 is almost dead. Uh, Microsoft also stopped it now from its local client. Except for Windows 7, I believe. Well, like for some Office uh, Office clients for using TLS 1.1, they they updated that to use 1.2 as a minimum. That's that. The deadline is coming. The deadline is, I think, end of 2020. Everything that is 1.0 and 1.1 will be hard stop. I don't think you're gonna get this option anymore at the end of the year, right? But there is a good reason. It's just bad cipher suites, as we saw. Right, still gonna learn more about these software suites. I'm a little bit confused about. It. I'll, I'll ask around on Twitter. I have a lot of security. I'm asking. I'm, I'm following a lot of security gurus and and, and Twitter, like uh, Nick Sullivan uh, from Cloudflare and others as well. All right, guys, that's it for me today. I'm gonna see you on the next one. You guys stay awesome. Goodbye.